You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. Today we're doing a recap of Raw from February 19th. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty good episode of Raw. It was it was the anti Raw. No, it was, it was it. the anti WWE. Yeah, that's true. We we got a ton of wrestling. Mm-hmm. What are we, do we even have any backstage segments besides really the interviews? Um, and the, and those were during yeah they were the during match. a match yeah. yeah. Um, I think the, there was like one at the end. No, because everything was like phone promos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no actual backstage interviews. Yeah. Um. Uh, anyway. But yeah, no. Overall, very different. Enjoyable. Yeah. It's I never mean, gonna happen again. By the way. The fact that it happened once is a positive. Thing. I guess that's true, but that. And it's funny because it kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, well, I knew the gauntlet match was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to last the time oh, it was well, going yeah, to true. last. Um, so basically what happened was there was a gauntlet match with the participants from the Elimination Chamber match, the men's one. Men's one, yes. Um, and it lasted almost two hours long. It was it was two, pretty much two hours. Yeah. So two-thirds of the show. Was, we got wrestling. One match. Yeah. One. <laughs> it, it, it was really good, too. It was definitely a surprise, the quality oh, of, yeah. uh, of the effort yeah, put in. Um, Especially considering it's the week before the pay-per-view. Yeah, that was Seth a Rons little Seth Rollins is going to have a fun night on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Better not these... be working any house shows this week. I'm sure these guys have done it numerous times. Think about, you know, some of the guys in the indies, too. That's true. Just constant back-to-back nights. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, basically, this was giving somebody the spotlight that wasn't going to win the elimination chamber but going to be good you know something big for them are you talking about rollins no no no, no, about... no, no i'm just talking about in general oh you mean the winner gave... of the gauntlet oh with somebody that isn't going to because well, unfortunately we already know who's gonna win i know the match. and i i, I want to speak about that for a second apparently what? the ticket sales have been so bad for the elimination chamber that they're doing buy one get one free like to go there? Yes. Why can't? Why don't people want to go to pay per views? I don't know. I mean, that's just what I had read. I don't know, don't obviously, the sense. validity of it, but that was posted. Um, and it's in Vegas. Yeah. Granted, I'm sure there's a lot of more popular but attractions. I, I think there. this probably was the big deciding factor of the brand doing, split thing. Yeah. I mean, so, I Which know. is odd. Did you see that commercial for Backlash that said it was a raw only pay per view? No. Yeah. I think it was, it might have been SmackDown last night. I'd missed it. Yeah. yeah. I think it was Backlash. Um, but yeah, they had announced it, said, see your favorite Raw superstars, and it said live on pay-per-view. That's which weird. was weird because it was Because it was a, a commercial? Yeah. Because usually they don't do that. Yeah. What they'll do is, like, they'll make specific ads for, like, that they do. Right, right. Instead but of usually... it being, like, a house show. Yeah. Because but... the house shows aren't made necessarily, well, they are made by them, but they're not. And they're also location specific as well. Yeah. Because like we kept seeing the ones for the garden and the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. That's odd. Yeah, it was weird. Whatever. But I, I can't really. Where is Backlash going to be? Do you know? No, not a clue. Right. Um, but I, I think this also being a pay per view, like you had said, that Roman Reigns is pretty much slated to win mm-hmm. unless WWE decides to completely do a one eighty and change the wrestlemania match but i don't know if you heard the uh you remember that guy who had said that roman reigns had bought steroids or had purchased um some sort of yeah growth um and roman i says guess he doesn't he's never heard of the guy right apparently he released a video i don't remember who on recently but he said the next video he releases is going to be on roman reigns <gasps> so well that could just be a Oh, abso- uh, absolutely. Apparently, it's at the Prudential Center. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. And it says, following WrestleMania 34, all pay-per-views would be dual-branded. Yeah, but like I said, it, it could have just been an old commercial that they had played. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so I guess we should get into the show, right? That's true. Um, so we open the match, obviously. Oh, actually, open the show with uh, Roman coming out. Yeah. And uh, he is going to be, obviously, the first participant in the gauntlet match. Yeah, apparently, Kurt Angle thought it was a good idea. Good idea. <laughs> How much of that beer have you drank? Not not, not enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's interviewed by Renee Young. Um, and he says that uh, 
He's the oh, only yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that 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 was what he started with. He no. was talking about how, like, because he was like talking about how each competitor in their own right was like good, but mm-hmm. he's the only one who could beat. take out. So basically, he was trying to make himself look good by yeah. beating everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, but he says that he's the only one who can take on the beast Brock Lesnar and win at WrestleMania. Yep. Um, he said that if it wasn't for Rollins, he would have won at WrestleMania 32. Yep. I, yeah, I think that. Uh, no, it's no, 31. 30, yeah, what's this? 30. Yeah, it was 31. Yeah. Because we're going into 34. Um, and that was the year after Daniel Bryan and everything. Yeah. Because he won the Royal Rumble. Right, that right. Year. Yes, yes, you're right. Um, and then. But and then at that point Seth Rollins comes right, out because yeah. obviously he was reminded of what had happened. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, um, uh, Roman and Seth are starting the match. Yeah, um, and they went for a good what twenty five minutes probably. Oh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm like, are they gonna stop in the middle and yeah. like have a like? But if this was uh, any indication of the revival of Seth Rollins, they definitely did a good job. Yeah, he's wearing a shirt that says Monday, Monday Night. Night Rollins. Yep. So they had to get that out and they uh, have good available. Turn- they have good turnover with their shirts. Either that or they came up with the lines months ago. and they. Uh, it's possible. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. um, this is a very solid match. Yeah. The two of them obviously work very well together. Mm-hmm. A lot of <sighs> countering each other's maneuvers, basically. Specifically... Roman Superman punching every time Rollins tried to do a move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was his go to move. It was a lot. Yeah. So, one thing I, I did notice, and I mean, it's glaringly obvious all the time, but Roman needs to change his look. Um, he, it, the, just you don't get like ri- the vest. No, the vest needs to go. Like, I mean, if you're going to market this guy, I, I don't know. I just feel like. Um, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. But I don't understand why everyone cares about the vest. No, it's not even just the vest. It's just, just the look. The in look, general. yeah. It's you have it, you know, kind of tattoos covered. Mm-hmm. Um, just the the riot gear. It's 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 weird. Just move away. Yeah, it's true. Seth evolved. Dean evolved. Just change it. You're just, right. Just just do it. You're right. And put them in trunks again, like in NXT. <laughs> it's true. Um, all, nah, the, I don't know. all the women will really be chanting. Well, because, you know, like with Cena, he's pretty much been the same exact person since, like, right after his Doctor of Thunkonomics days. Yeah. So, I think that's what they're going for. They want a consistent... I guess. That that would be the only yeah. thing you can think of. I guess so. I guess that makes sense. Um, Anyway. But it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't, wa- you know. He had those cool shoes when he fought Braun that one paper. That's year. true. The, the white ones mm-hmm. or whatever. <laughs> and everybody made a big yeah. stink about yeah. that. I remember that. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yep. So uh, Rollins goes for the stomp. Mm-hmm. Um, Roman counters it. And then Roman goes to, to roll him up. And then Seth reverses the roll up, gets a roll up of his own. Mm-hmm. And he manages to pin Roman. Yeah. So uh, Seth Rolled moved on Clean. to the next uh, next fighter, which was very surprising. Mm-hmm. I figured that would be a Roman going on. Yeah. But, but, like you said, we're not expecting, or we're expecting Roman to win, so obviously it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and so, then John Cena was his next opponent, yep. which was a surprise as well. A little bit. Yeah. But, um, so basically, Cena came in, and he, well, when Cena ran in, Seth attacked him mm-hmm. to begin with, but Seth had been in the match for such a long time, he was very quickly worn down. Oh, yeah, yeah, because there was, what, at least two times where he almost got counted out? Yeah, yeah. He kept on barely, mm-hmm. barely getting back into the ring. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that was that was seeing his game try to keep mm-hmm. him down the whole time. Yep. And he was barely breaking a sweat. They mentioned. Um. Seeing hit his weird stunner looking thing. Yeah, it was <laughs> like it was like a, it was almost like an RKO. Yeah. I think that's what I I wrote. Yeah. He hit an RKO. Um. It was it was strange. Um. And then that's when they went on the outside and that was the yeah, I think Cena charged into him. The ring then, steps, he moved out of the way, and that's yeah. when yeah, they both got back in the ring at nine. Yeah. Um Seth kicked out of an AA mm-hmm. and they fought into the uh turnbuckle, right? And then Cena was going for a super AA. Yeah, I think so. And then mm-hmm. Rollins like weaseled out of it, mm-hmm. hit the superplex, and then he did the Falcon arrow. But he was he was selling the uh, hip, right? So he didn't fully hit the Falcon Hour, or was that on Elias? That was yeah, it was later on. I think that, he was okay. able to put him. Yeah, up. maybe that was. 
Um, yeah, because I know it happened at one point in the match. Yeah, he couldn't lift him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and that's when uh, right, uh, Cena went for another AA. Oh yeah, and then no, he, he went he, hit, for, he went for the super AA. Yeah, he off hit the top. Oh yeah, but I thought he hit one. He hit a he, regular one. Right, and then didn't he do the roll into the second mm-hmm. one? He didn't do that. I thought he did, and Normally that's when he Rollins countered it. Mm-hmm. There was it was he went for the super AA. Right, and he did the flip. Over it, I think. Oh, okay. Or like he, they rolled, and then Rollins picked him up, mm-hmm. and he picked him up, threw him over his shoulder like Cena normally does, and right. then he hit the AA. Okay, maybe that was that. Yeah, which is weird because you know John Cena's big dude, right? Seth Rollins not so big dude, and the fact that he had been going for almost an hour at this point, he yeah. was able to pick him up. Mm-hmm. That was certainly impressive. Right, and then um, uh, Seth finally gets the one with the uh, curb stomp, or just the stomp, or whatever. It's just the stomp. The now. stomp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, did he hit the uh, revolution knee? No, no, he didn't hit the. No, it wasn't. It's not the revolution knee. It's the. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure that's what Corey called it. I thought it was. It was something. Because uh, it had to do with like him pulling the person in. Yeah. I don't think it was revolution. All right. Well, it doesn't matter because yeah. he didn't break Cena's nose again. It's true. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that, imagine, that was all I was getting imagine to. Imagine if that happened. Yeah. Everyone dies because Seth Rollins in a Colton yep. match. And then. We got Seth Rollins versus Final Form Seth Rollins, <laughs> a.k.a. Elias. Oh, this is fantastic. This Evil was, Seth Rollins. Um, somebody had brought it up on Reddit. I think this was the first time that Elias entered a match to his actual theme music. Because at the Rumble, he played his guitar. And every other time, he's just been sitting in the ring. Yeah, that's so, true. Because it, it, it usually, it just, his music just plays mm-hmm. at, the, at yeah. the end of the match. And he's got a fantastic theme. So yeah, It's not bad. I like it. But you know me. I'm an Elias Mark. It's tr- <laughs> certainly true. <laughs> I was one of his original fans. Um, but yeah, this was basically Seth Rollins being completely worn out and worn down. Um, Elias eventually ends up hitting the drift away. Uh, during the match, though, we got a interview backstage. It was a Renee, right? Interviewed Cena? Yeah. And John Cena kept going over about, you know, he may not have a road to WrestleMania if he doesn't win the Elimination Chamber, which is still a bunch of horse doo doo. Well, of course. I mean, it's 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 but still, you got you got to make it. Hey, at least they're yeah, at least they're consistent with it and they're going along with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Oh, they did call it a revolution knee. It's yeah. also called the ripcord knee, yeah, which is what I thought. Okay, that I was... thought that's what they originally called it, and then they yeah. changed it to the revolution. It, no, it's it's possible. I probably just never heard um, the revolution knee. Part. Fair enough. Um, Fair enough. But yeah, so Finn is the next competitor. Yes. And we've seen Finn and Elias a couple times. Um, and apparently. The fans didn't want to see Finn and Elias because they were chanting, I mean, we want Braun. Yes, we yes, want that Braun. did happen. But you have to, you know. There's nothing th- wrong with it. No, the I fans mean, did sit there for over, it was probably was an so, hour and 15 minutes at this point. Yeah. Because the of first one match. The first three or the first two were the longest. Yeah. And then they. I mean, each one was probably like 15 minutes afterward. Um, I think that Elias and Seth Balor was, was short. Oh. And then Balor and the Miz wasn't particularly long, mm-hmm. and then obviously Miz and yeah and Bra- Braun weren't mm-hmm. long either. But anyway, so with uh, with Elias and Balor, mm-hmm. it, was, it was all right. Yeah, they mentioned the fact that the two of them had feuded, and um, mm-hmm. Elias hit the guitar over Finn's back, and yeah. how he wants redemption for that and all that nonsense. whatever. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, like we had spoken of earlier mm-hmm. with uh, Renee interviewing the people in the back during their matches, um, at this point, it was, I guess it was Cena saying, or... Did, no, no, so it was Seth. Uh, it was up to Rollins? Yeah, okay. this was up to Rollins. Yeah. Rollins, um, what did he say? He basically said that, you know, because uh, they made a big deal that he beat Cena and oh, Reigns yeah. in one night, yeah, and Rollins basically back. said, yeah, it's great, but it doesn't matter if I don't win the Elimination Chamber. So yeah. they're really... Putting a lot of stock into the elimination. Yeah, match. they're being they're doing that uh, whole well, like corny so, stuff. I don't know if you've read this, but they said the reason for the multi man matches is to make it seem like somebody else could you know win outside of the uh, the favorites. Wait, you mean like the, the elimination chamber and then the fatal five way at Fastlane? 
Oh, yeah. oh, so they think they just don't want it to be obvious right, exactly who what's going to be mm-hmm. happening at mm-hmm. WrestleMania, despite yes. the fact that we know what's going to be happening at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just like Tom Phillips said on SmackDown, that's going to be AJ Anything Styles and Shinsuke. Happen. And then Corey said, oh, there's four other competitors, or yeah, four other competitors in that match uh, on Fastlane. It was funny. But we'll get that yeah. when we do SmackDown. All right. So, um, and uh, after, after that... Um, the match goes on a little bit longer. Yeah. Eventually, Elias gets uh, pinned after a coup de gras. Mm-hmm. And uh, so now the Miz comes. Or yes. Now the Miz Taraj. The Miz's music out. hit. Yes. Miz Taraj come out yeah. down the entrance ramp, get up to the ring, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden the Miz comes out and attacks Finn from behind. Yep. Um, yeah, they. Th- this match should definitely happen at WrestleMania. Oh, the Miz and uh, yeah, Finn. It yeah, it'd be good. It makes so much yeah. sense too. And, and then you have the club. Who can be at the side mm-hmm. of Finn, and you have the, the Miz Taraj, Taraj, and you get six people in a singles match, and that actually gives you something to do for the month. It's true between uh, oh yeah, 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 no, and WrestleMania. Yeah. But yeah, um, yes, oh yeah, and then Elias got interviewed during this match, yes. right? Yeah, this this got a little uh, a little tiring after a while. It's the true. interviews because you know. It's all saying the same stuff. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but yeah, he says that since he's coming in last, he's going to be there to pick up the pieces. Mm-hmm. Put on, what, the best performance of his life at WrestleMania or something like that. While well, he gets squashed by Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Because that would be what happens if he does manage to win. But obviously, it's not going to happen. No. No. Um, so, But yeah, Finn, I think, yeah, they battled for a little while. Mm-hmm. Uh, Finn went up for the coup de gras. Yeah. Both members of the Mistrage. Yeah, because... Dallas was on one side. Mm-hmm. Uh, Finn, Finn kicks him off, him off yep. and then Axel's on the other side. Mm-hmm. Finn kicks him off, and then uh, Miz like knocks into him, knocks him off the ropes, and then he hits the skull crushing finale, and mm-hmm. then he gets the pin. Yep. Um, and but then uh, definitely the this it was definitely the right way to book this match. They definitely oh, did a, a fantastic job. Um, because I was thinking that no matter what, Braun would be the last yeah, one. I figured I figured that either. Well, at first, like I said, I thought Roman was going to make it a little further than he did. It was but, surprising. But yeah, Braun taking out the Miz was definitely the right way to go. Mm-hmm. So Braun comes out. <laughs> well, Miz had forgotten that Braun was oh, yeah, the last no participant because he thought he had won it at he, this he point. He thought that the match was over. Yeah. And then you see <laughs> you see him, like, before Braun's music hits, you see him, like, they pan on him. Oh, you see him, shit. like, wait, <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> and then that's when the music hits. Mm. And then Braun comes storming down to the ring. Uh, the Miz tries to run away. Yep. Braun uh, puts a stop to that. Mm-hmm. He goes through like the side area that leads kind of to the announce table, and Braun just runs, runs him down. Away. He just chased him all the way up. Yeah. That was good. Picks him up, brings him back to the ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, Finn got interviewed during this, and he basically said, you know, the Elimination Chamber, the Miztourage, won't be able to interfere because they'll be locked inside or outside, so yeah. he'll be able to get his hands on the Miz or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, again, like you said, it's not really. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so something that happened that was a little surprising. Hmm. The Miz actually hit a skull-crushing finale yes, on Braun. he did. And while he went for the pinfall, Braun <laughs> throws him out of the ring. Yeah, he went through, what, the second rope or yeah. something like that or the... Between landed the first on and second uh, row, Axel and uh, yeah. Dallas. Uh, it, it was a good attempt. It oh, yeah. Didn't, it didn't <laughs> translate too, too well. But Oh, no, it, it didn't look no, great, no. but it was cool. Yeah. Um, and obviously, very shortly after that, Braun mm-hmm. picks him up, hits him with the running power slam, and the match is over. That is that. Braun somehow managed to win the gauntlet match coming in last. <laughs> it's a very big surprise. Yeah. Well, you know, if you come in last, it, it matters. Just like Elias at the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. You know, they got to do stuff like that. It's true. And uh, then he comes in and hits a bunch more. Well, no, this oh. is when he left and he went to get interviewed on the stage with oh, Renee. Okay. okay, yeah. And then he called out, you know, Brock and called him Beastie Boy, he which did is call fantastic. Him Beastie Boy. Um, and he basically said that Lesnar's going to get these hands at Mania. It was a very. It, it, it was, was actually a very entertaining interview. So oh my god! Um, and and then, at this point, he, he's like, "Renee, you need to excuse me for a second. And then he goes back to the ring. It was very and polite. The, and the fans are losing it. Yeah. And then he obviously beats the crap out of the Mistrage, and then what? Miz gets what two uh, more running yes, power slams. Yeah, he gets two more. It's pretty uh, funny. Good stuff. Yeah. And he they gave the crowd what they wanted. It's true. He got they got brawn eventually. <laughs> eventually, it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Um. All right. So up next, 
We had a very <laughs> puzzling announcement. There was rumors of this. Yeah, which made no recently, sense. But yeah, Jeff no Jarrett sense. is going to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. This the guy year. who made it seem like his only mission in life was Just to take out Vince. <laughs> um, gets put in the Hall of Fame. I wonder if they're going to be like, uh, so what are you doing from the years 2002 to 2018? Well, I ran this promotion to try and rival WWE. Yep. But the man, he was only in WWE for like seven years. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, yeah. he wasn't. He didn't have an early long. '90s stint, and then toward the end of the late '90s, and yeah, then, which yeah, because they used a handful of WCW yeah, footage. Yeah, there was, there was definitely a, a quite a few highlights mm. from. There was a lot of his um, his guitar stuff. Yeah, that was that was the bulk of the. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we'll get to hear him sing uh, "With My Baby" tonight. You think? Except the road, road Dog will. I was gonna say, you think the Road Dog's gonna be the one who inducts uh, Which him? is funny because I think right after that whole thing happened was when Jarrett got let go from the company. Yeah. So they never went into it, right? Is yeah. That when what they happened? started yeah, yeah. calling uh, Road double G- Yeah Road Dog the real Double J. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, that so. would be great if they did pick that up or something like that. I mean, Road Dog's still there. It's true. He's allowed to be there. Yeah. Surprisingly, Jared <laughs> is too. But hey, that that makes no sense. Yeah. It really doesn't. Because what are they gonna do? They acknowledge like they they put a big emphasis on the greatest or one of the greatest intercontinental champions of all time. But hey, you know, that's all they have. Yeah, that good housekeeping match with China. That is true. Never that, forget that will not be mentioned. <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling. No, well, because it had China in it. Well, no, she's been mentioned. <laughs> that's TV. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I but, think it's more of the fact that it was a good housekeeping. Yeah, match. I guess that's true. Yeah, women risk. Yeah, yeah. WWE does not want intergender wrestling. Yeah. So. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, up next, this is a little disappointing. I the fans suck. They really do. But I mean, you, you gotta you gotta put the fault on WWE for for putting her in this situation, which I I understand. You have her win a big match. You want to. You know, publicly promote her and stuff oh, yeah. like that. I, I get why they do it, mm-hmm. but yeah, it was a little unfair. Yeah, but. we had Oscar being interviewed. Um, I I didn't even pay attention to it just because I knew. Yeah, well, Renee asked her about her um match at at a WrestleMania, mm-hmm. not not who she was going to be facing, but that um if she's concerned about Nia Jax being put into the match because if Nia wins on Sunday, then she'll be put into the match. And she said that uh, I'm not worried because nobody's ready for Asuka, like she's mm-hmm. been saying. She also, like, I think she said something in Japanese before that. I don't remember she for sure. She might have. Um, and she was, like, kind of stumbling with her words. A little bit. And the fans yeah. were kind of... I don't think they did what? I, I, think, I think they there was a couple. They, they did some... They were doing yeah. some chanting. Um, And then, you know. Yeah, eventually Naya came to save the day, basically. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> But yeah, Asuka says that she's going to control her own destiny mm-hmm. and then win the title at WrestleMania. Yep. Um, and then she said that Nia's all talk, and then Nia kind of sneaks up behind her, attacks mm-hmm. her. But uh, I guess Asuka saw her coming. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but somehow. Yeah, Nia laid her out, right? Oh, her yeah. With the she, Samoan drop and then and a then bunch she, of leg yeah. drops. Yeah. Quite a few leg drops. And then, you know, of course, since this is what we do with the women, then we overshadow this with uh, another Ronda Rousey video package. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like training said, videos I, and stuff. I have stuff. absolutely no problem with WWE signing Ronda Rousey. I think it's going yeah. to be good for them. However, I don't like the way they've done it with her coming out at the end of the Rumble, and that kind of overshadows that. Yeah. And now you're having her sign her contract during the first women's elimination match. It, In all fairness, I think this is more of a time-filling thing. I guess that's true. Because you literally have nothing else going on in that pay-per-view. It's true, but I mean, I don't know. It, it just seems like, like, I understand this is the first women's elimination chamber, and then we just get this lazy-ass booking with a six-woman tag at the end of the show. It, in all fairness, there was actually some storytelling there. It's true. It wasn't a bad match. Yeah, because um, the thing with... Mandy, yeah, there was a couple of very sloppy. Either way. Yeah. Um, the fact that they had Alexa Bliss on the team again with... Yeah, that was weird that they didn't yes. kind of... I mean, we'll, we'll, we still yeah. have something to get through before yeah. we get into but, it. But, you know, that was... So that wasn't as bad as it is on SmackDown. That's a whole nother story. It's true, though. We'll get into that with our review. Yeah. So, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, up next, we have The Bar versus Titus Worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> so this match was kind of funny just because uh, Corey was just making up stats <laughs> that, that Dana had been taking. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. I don't remember the specifics, but he was just saying something mm-hmm. about like Sheamus is less likely to win if it's like above, above 50 degrees yeah, or something, or something like, like that. Because yeah. then coach is like, oh, you're, 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 wrong. you're wrong. And he was like, no, coach, it's 51 degrees outside. Yeah. I said just that proves my point. is more likely to lose <laughs> when it's warmer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, Titus Worldwide picked up the victory with mm-hmm. Apollo rolling up Cesaro in what was the slowest, worst roll-up ever. It just looked like the ref was counting super slow. It just looked it's like, like are, are you guys sure you're supposed to be doing this right now? Yeah, the Cesaro looked like he could have kicked out about 20 times. Well, but, you know. You know. But I, I believe, I don't know where it was mentioned, but I believe we're going to get the title match at Elimination Chamber between the two of them. Oh, oh yeah, because we were talking about before. Yeah, we don't I don't know. I think, we don't know exactly when it was actually yeah. put in place. Which, what I would have liked to seen is at least put all your four tag teams on Raw into a like fatal four-way. Well, but no, it just means that it's going to be the club against the Revival on the pre-show. On the pre-show, yeah, that's what I expect. Um, well, there's only four announced matches right now. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Huh. I could have sworn that it was maybe. Maybe I'm just making shit up. That's possible. It's it is 100 percent possible. For Germany, it was feared that the name Elimination Chamber may remind people of the gas chambers used during the Holocaust. <sighs> Thank you for that. <laughs> it's that one was of very the notes. insightful. It's one of the notes on the Wikipedia page. It doesn't you do even... realize they let anybody edit these things. No, it's right? just funny because it's not like they changed the name of it. No. It just says that they feared that it would does it give a year when it was uh no added okay no it's just funny yeah well this is it's specifically 2018 oh it's got its own page i gotcha yeah. so um, it's just funny <laughs> anyway yeah so i think it was mentioned that bray wyatt and matt hardy will be facing each other at elimination chamber yeah i think it was earlier in the night yeah so we had to throw a promo together about these two and it did nothing oh absolutely not you kind of lost, you know, it kind of lost its thing. Bow ring, because it's the same thing over it's and true. over again. And they talk nonsensi- nonsensibly. Nothing happens. Their matches aren't great. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because their match at the 25th anniversary show was... It was terrible. It was very short. Matt lost decisively. Yeah. Um. So... That's why we're going to gloss over this a little bit, move on to something that actually kind of meant a little bit. Oh, a six woman tag? Yeah. Those and will be that'll be the only time you ever say those it's, words. It's true though, because there was actually a story going Yeah, there on was. Here. Yes. There was lots of story going on here, actually. Maybe oh. not lots. Well, but... let's hear about all these stories. Well, Matt. no, because they've been they've been having granted they didn't really touch on it too much, but the Sasha and Bailey stuff going on. Um because it was Sasha, Bailey, and Alexa, not Alexa, and Mickey James against Alexa, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we know that Alexa Bliss has been kind of gunning for Sonya and Mandy because they she is afraid that if they win the title at Elimination Chamber, they're just going to play back and forth with the title. So, obviously, she doesn't want to team with them. Yeah. Um, Alexa goes to start the match, but so does Mickey, and Alexa's like, I don't want to start the match anymore. So mm. she tags in, I think, Sonia? Yeah, I think so. Um, so this was Alexa trying to keep her friendship with Mickey. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was like a major storyline going into it. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. So um, for yeah. the most part, obviously, there's no point in time where Alexa and Mickey face off against each other. Mm-hmm. Um, Bailey kind of does a large bulk of the wrestling on the, fa- yeah. on, the ha- on the face side. Mm-hmm. And then the heels, it was pretty much just... Sonya and Mandy. Tag in and out. Um, yeah. Alexa had a short stint against Bailey, I think. Yeah, and then was... Sasha too. Or was it just was... Sasha? It just I think it was just Sasha. one of them. She wasn't in the match for mm-hmm. long. No. Um, but yeah, eventually, um, oh okay, yeah, yeah, it was Sasha towards the yeah. end. Yeah, she makes. So, yeah, so Sasha makes uh, Bliss tap out with the uh, bank statement, mm-hmm. um, and then pretty much immediately after the match ends, Absolution attacks um sasha Mm -hmm. and then bailey comes in she gets beaten up too yep um and then alexa it was just the three of them in the ring absolution mm -hmm. and yeah alexa the two of them turn their eyes to alexa Mm -hmm. and then uh then mickey comes in for Mm -hmm. the save two of them beat down absolution and then they go go out on yeah like not holding hands but basically but they were together yeah 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 so it was it was definitely interesting adds it a dynamic because it's been established that uh, Sasha and Bailey are best friends. 
um, Absolution is a team, and now Mickey and um, Alexa are teaming together, kind of. So that's you're going into a six person match that's every man for themselves mm-hmm. with three potential teams. It's true. So you could be getting like teaming up and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Granted, it's not like everyone starts at the same time, but it is but true. They, you know, they, they got something going on. It makes sense. There's, it does. There's actual storytelling going on instead of okay, there's this team, and then there's this team. So we're just gonna have singles matches and then the next week we'll have a six tag yeah we really didn't have that too much um yeah it's just i'm talking about smackdown obviously i gotta hate man i'm just saying that's what they do <laughs> i'm even more negative than you are <laughs> so anyway but yeah no this was a, a definitely a different raw i, I mean i think everything suffered after the gauntlet match just because it kind of wore everybody out but to be fair they couldn't have done it the other way Oh, no, have this at first, and then no, no. Cause, because this gave you, oh, when is this going to end? You know, who knows? Yeah, because, like I said, going in, we thought it was going to be very, not not nearly as long. Maybe 45 minutes yeah. at the longest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then it ended up being a lot longer than that. Um, but if you put it at, like, as the main event, mm. you would have had to start at 9 o'clock. Right. And this match never would start at 9 o'clock. No. 10 o'clock, maybe. Yeah. But not 9 o'clock. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the ratings were for Raw. Not that it really matters, but I'm, I'm sure you had a really significant drop-off. Oh, after the yeah. match ended? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that yeah. was everything. Yep. Or that was the... That was your main... Yep. Yeah. It's true. But, yes, this was our Raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.